Welcome to another Launchpad screencast, I'm Matthew Ravel and I'm going to show you how to get better control of your bug subscriptions with our new feature. So let's subscribe to an individual bug. Here we have three options, one is to get an email when any change is made, or any change other than a new comment, or to get an email only when the bug is fixed or subsequently reopened, if that happens. Let's go for the middle option. So this should give us a mi middling amount of email, and there you go. I'm added to the subscriber list. Now let's edit that. I can either unsubscribe entirely or change it to one of the other options. So perhaps I want to get a little bit more email, a little bit more detail about this bug. But if I get too much, I can always mute the bug. Now this is a new feature and no matter how you get an email about the, about the bug, whatever subscription you've got, this will prevent you from getting any. And then you can also unmute and I'm going to unmute my uh, unmute this bug and then change my subscription so that I only get the minimal amount of email this bug is fixed or reopened. This also works for projects, project groups, distributions, series, milestones, that sort of thing. But it's a little bit different. As you can see, you can subscribe yourself or a team and you can also give your subscription a name which is very useful in helping you distinguish why you're getting email about a particular bug because you can also subscribe multiple times to the same thing with different options. So here we're going to subscribe to everything in OpenStack. And look, you can see you can also choose tags. Actually, let's let's subscribe only to things that are tagged with documentation. So uh, I'll type in documentation tag there and I'll change the name of my subscription. But I'm not really interested in bugs that have the wish list importance. And similarly, you know, bugs have got the expired status. I'm probably not too interested in either, so I'll click that off. So there, I have a highly customized subscription to OpenSAC. Bugs have to have certain status, a certain tag, and a certain importance and I'll get an email about them. And as you could see, I could have chosen many other options there. As you might expect, it's quite easy to edit your bug mail as well. So I'm gonna create another subscription to OpenStack. Uh, this time it'll just be whenever bugs are open or closed. So I'll give it a quick name. There you go. New subscription. And now if I go to edit bug mail, both my subscriptions to OpenStack are listed and I can edit either of them. And it tells me exactly what they do, so I know why I'm getting bugs about OpenStack, and more importantly, how I can increase or decrease that mail by clicking edit. If there's one particular bug you're sick of hearing about, then there's a link in the bottom of the emails that Launchpad sends you that takes you to this page. You can also get it from the bug page itself. So we've seen the mute option already, but you can also change the level of your subscription for that particular bug or edit the subscriptions that may be generating email about that bug. So bear in mind, you can have multiple subscriptions that send you email about one particular bug. That's why Mute's so great, because it just kills all email about that bug. There's more to our changes to bug subscriptions, such as a new email header that tells you the name of the subscription, but you can find out more about that by experimenting and by looking at blog.launchpad.net. Thanks a lot, see you next time.